you hear that? Yeah. That was the bell. I thought I heard that bell going again, but I'm not sure. It went close enough to make a sound. Standing beside you. A conservation. If that's you making the box make noise, then yes, we heard you. Hey everybody, back again. Another quick nighttime investigation, and we will be quick here, uh, just because there's a lot of air traffic tonight. This spot you may recognize, it is the Barn Foundation, uh, but Andre's never been here before, so I thought, why not come here with Andre? It's a nice night. We'll put up with the airplanes a little bit. We'll get the, uh, the REM pod out, see if anything happens here. It's just, it's a great spot to investigate, and I'm really trying to figure out more here through investigating. I haven't done any research yet deliberately just because I don't want to tip myself off and bias myself in an investigation. So with that in mind, let's get some stuff set up. We'll do ghost tube. We'll get the REM pods. All right, we're going to get the REM pod turned on and then I will dig out the spirit box, which is in my bag. We'll see if we can get anything. Again, we're going to have to put up with the airplanes just because this is on a flight route. It is what it is. In the meantime, let's get this going. To maximum sensitivity. Yeah, that was me. If there's anybody here with us tonight, can you uh, can you go closer to the device? We'll try it here, and then I'll try putting it up by the silo too. Okay. That was fast. There's no active walkie-talkies or anything within quite a distance of us. That's a couple people in some of my comments when I announced that I had this thing. They said, watch out for walkie-talkies because it, they can set it off. Okay. Uh, but there aren't any around here tonight. If you know that, that's good. That's exactly. Yep. Learning process. And that was... Woogie Man and Gemini Dream both said, watch out for, uh, for walkie-talkies. We don't need false positives. Exactly. <laughs> we want the real thing. <laughs> If there's anybody here with us, if you can go near the device on the ground, it will just light up and make sounds. It won't hurt you in any way. It'll just light up and make sounds and then we'll know you're here. And then we can try and use it to communicate with you. And while that's happening, I'll just start ghost tube here. Because it's always ghost tube first. Low volume. I'm going to back further away. Ouch. So is mine. So it shouldn't be broadcasting or receiving anything. I'll set it there. In the corner. In the corner. There's a corner that way. 
Is that where you are? Over in the corner? Can you make a noise over there or throw a rock or something? Jackie. Jackie. Hello, Jackie. <coughs> Is there a Jackie in the corner? Uh, not necessarily that corner. There are no, I corners <laughs> because there's the corner there as well. Steve. <coughs> Steve. Is Steve still following me? So Woogie Man is convinced that Steve is following me. Oh, you, th yeah, you think so? He thinks Steve's following me. Maybe we should go and see one night? Yeah. Wound. Wound. What kind of wound? That one didn't come up again. It said not recently, but nothing came up on that's, the display. That's weird, man. But all the other ones had come up on the display. But the second it goes to that other voice like that, it didn't come up on the display. That's, that's to what weird. it said. I don't know why that is. If anybody else uses Ghost Tube and it's running into the same problem, please let me know. Uh, I don't know if it's just this update and it'll be fixed in the next update or I, sh I should try my phone too because i just had another update this week okay for ghost Two, and i, I haven't if... used it since so yeah i wonder if you'll have the same thing cat or no eat eat i ate before i came i don't need to eat right now <laughs> i could eat but <laughs> oh, i couldn't i'm full <laughs> Six eye of round steaks, two avocados, and a piece of five-year-old cheddar for dinner. Okay. Yeah. And then a couple pieces of 100% dark chocolate. So, I'm full. kinds of little rustlings in the woods and stuff. It's probably yeah. from the insects all emerging. In the corner. In the corner again, but it didn't come up on the screen again. That's weird, man. But like, choked, choked came up on the corner. Were you choked in the corner? Oh God. So this will be, what, my third time here now. Okay. Uh, so I think maybe after this investigation. Worried. Why are you worried? I think after this investigation, it might be time to try and do a bit of digging, see if anything I've got here so far is relevant, to... is relevant at all. That one didn't come up again. Do you want to get yours running too? Okay. See, uh, just see what happens. Another room. There is the dividing wall right in the middle of the ground here. That stick break was just me. Wasn't anything off in the woods or anything. So we've got Andre's ghost tube happening. So I'm going to close mine and switch oh, it up. Too bright. No, that doesn't work. Uh, let's switch up. I'm just going to put on the spirit bell, just to see if I get anything on my end with the spirit bell. And you know what? I'm not going to start the spirit bell. I'm going to go put my phone in the corner oh. with the spirit bell, and let's see. Uh, yes. See okay. what happens. 
So I will venture this way. Here, there, I'm going to be right here. I haven't got anything on ghost tube yet. So many bugs on the logs down here. <laughs> There's Brian in the dark corner down there. Okay, I'm coming back. I'm just gonna leave my phone there. Okay. And I will leave the, uh, the spirit bell down there. So let's see if anything happens down in the corner. I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee. Well, we are here. Did your ghost tube say anything yet? I haven't got anything yet. Nothing, eh? And you're in airplane mode? Yep. And my volume is up, yep. All the way up. Is there anybody here with us? I can't. What can't you do? Can you give us a name, please? Is it starting to rain again? A little bit? Hope not. Okay, I'm gonna move the REM pod over by the silo. You're gonna yell at me. Or not yell at me. No thanks. What do you mean, no thanks? What don't you like? Yeah. That was the bell. Was it? That was the spirit bell. Goddamn it airplane. It just went off. That's actually the first time the spirit bell's ever gone off for me. Oh, really? Yep. Nice. I've used it a bunch and never had anything from it, and I just heard it go off now. If you're over in the corner, can you do that again and make that bell sound again, please? Uh, I'm guessing the walls are too close to the antenna up uh -huh. in there. That's just my guess. Related. Who's related? Not us. I know a lot of people <laughs> think we are, but we're not. Uh, I get that all the time. Oh yeah, so many people think we're brothers. And my brother doesn't actually look like me at all. No. Male no, man. it's really weird. <laughs> If you're over in the corner, can you make that bell ding again, please? You just have to touch that thing. Sentenced. Sentenced? Did somebody go to jail? Do a little house cleaning here. Clean the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Keep smacking my head on this. But. <laughs> It's fresh growth, so I don't want to snap it. My chainsaw's at home. Yeah. <laughs> Can you give us any more names, please? Yeah, I'm going to get the spirit box out. I'll do a, a quick spirit box session. Okay. See if we get anything with that. Trying not to trip over the... Threat. There's a threat? What kind of threat? <clears throat> Are we in danger here? If we are, can you just tell us yes or no?
So my name is Brian. The guy right there is Andre. Can you give us your name, please? Stay with me. Well, we're here. We're not going anywhere. Not yet, anyway. It starts raining too hard, we will. Yeah. Plane makes it hard to hear this. Bribed? Bribed? Did somebody try to bribe you? If you said your name, I missed it because of the airplane noise. Can you tell me your name again, please? Can you tell me anything about yourself? Light. There's a light. There's a light. There's a light. And my phone's lit up in the corner over there. You won't probably won't see it really, but oh yeah, little speck. Little speck. It's like a star. Aha, uh -huh. I'm being foolish? Come on, you like it. Do you like all the airplanes? Or does the noise bother you? Probably. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> it would me. Yeah. Yeah, I would get sick of the airplanes real fast. Down. It's not really anywhere uh, to sit here. I, yeah. All the logs are covered in bugs right now. You can sit down. Come and join us. I love this wall though. I thought I heard that bell going again, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I know. Keep going. Keep going? We will. Keep going where? Can you make a big noise of some kind? Oh, that was you? Yeah, that was oh, me. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Brian's playing tricks on me. <laughs> Not much happening room. on the REM pod. Another room? I got oh. that too. Unfortunately, there's only one barn here. I mean, here. There's, there's a stone divider on the ground right there. Yeah. So there would have been other rooms at one point. But it's, as you can see, it's uh, very overgrown and been like this for many, many years. Okay. Not really getting much on the spirit box. Not really getting much on the REM pod. I'm not getting much here either. Yeah, quiet night here. I'm gonna go get my phone. Uh, we'll try a quick uh, spirit talker session and then wrap this up if nothing really happens. Okay. I'll go do that and then we'll set up another shot. Let's go. So we've moved the REM pod back away from the silo and it's flickering in this spot. And again, there 
or no CB radios or anything walkie talkies anywhere near us unless you count the planes flying overhead they would have a radio of some kind and uh, I've got spirit talker going now so I'm just gonna set that down on top of my bag so it's not in my hand so we've got those two devices happening so if anybody's here oh, you've been following me <laughs> is your name Steve If your name's Steve, can you go near the other device and make it make a sound? You can light up the colored lights by going really close and doing that. If your name's Steve, can you do that for me, please? I'm going to have another sip of my coffee. A packed. A packed? somebody here make a pact? Again, my name is Brian. The guy here with me is Andre. And we just want to say hello to whoever might be here. Do you want your tea for a sip? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Andre's got a tea here. Thank you multitasking for those watching at home it's a green tea black <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can take the camera if you need your hands another car there's a parking lot near here that's a fairly popular makeout spot <laughs> I wouldn't know <laughs> I've just seen people here. <laughs> like I'm walking here a lot. Get a lot of deer photos in this area. Brother. Brother on this one too. We are not brothers. <laughs> now, a lot of people ask us that, but we are not brothers. I think if we grew up in the same house together, we probably would have burned them down. <laughs> yeah. I think we would have been worse than we were. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very quiet night here tonight, though. Compared to other times I've been here. Gladys? Is there a Gladys here? That's an old name. That is an older name, yeah. <coughs> Not one you hear much anymore. No, nope. but back when this was in operation, probably yeah. a very more common name. If it wasn't for the planes, it's quite quiet here. Oh yeah, it just happens to be right on a flight path. You don't like the flight path either? <laughs> Clearly. And we're outdoors, so I'm not using the temperature sensor tonight. Just because outdoors, it's not very good. If you're here and you're going close to it, Close enough to make that red light go. If you go a little bit closer, like this, you'll get other stuff. See, the red is back there. But if you get a little bit closer, you can make the other ones light up. Said my head. <laughs> no, Brian didn't use his head. <laughs> or do you have a headache from the airplanes? Or does the bright light hurt your head?
so hard to tell because there's so many noises in the forest around just because you now it's the time of year where the buds are opening malicious we're not we're not malicious are you malicious i hope not but you've got all the bugs out and digging around in in the deadfall and then you've got just the animals are more active yeah, too all the it's... buds are opening all that kind of stuff <laughs> So there's just so many random noises off in the woods that it's hard to make out if there's anything extra. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing that sounds out of place. No, it's... <coughs> oh, it went close enough to make a sound. Standing beside you. Are, Are you? you? Awesome. Can you go touch that device even more? Grab onto the antenna if you want. There's a small antenna on top. If you grab onto it, it'll really light up. It'll make a lot of noise and really light up. And in this building, there's no active security of this site. There is a conservation. If that's you making the box make noise, then yes, we heard you. There is a conservation headquarters on the property here, but it's a little bit away from where we are. And there's no active security at night at that building. Can you go a little bit closer to it, please? I think I should buy one of those spark things. That'd be awesome. <coughs> Bicycle. Okay, we're going to pack up and go soon. We'll give you one last chance to go near the device that is on the ground. And again, all you have to do is just go close and it'll light up like that. And if you touch it, it's gonna make a lot of noise. Please? So if you can do that, please, before we go, that would be fantastic. I know, I know it's hard, but if you can do it before we go, And my phone, which is still on my bag there, is still in airplane mode, so it's not broadcasting or receiving anything. Blue eyes. I have blue eyes. goes quiet and then it goes again. Yeah. Can you go a little bit closer? A little bit more energy in there. I know it's not easy. one good touch that's with with a strong enough presence what you could do is get in and show it different colors and then by how close you would get and we could actually communicate you know make it if a yes go to blue if a no go to green kind of thing and you could actually okay like that, that's ideal 
we'd be able to get that, but that would probably take a fairly strong presence for that to happen. time it was blipping there there was no airplanes in the sky either so we've got one going now and it's quiet so it's not the airplanes Leo Okay, well I think we're going to pack up then and uh, wrap up this video. Thank you for the communication. Let's, uh, let's close this out. There you have it, short investigation uh, on the property of the Meadowvale Conservation Area. This is a barn foundation on the property. I have been here before. Andre's first time here. And, uh, kind of a quiet night actually. So. I'm going to do some research though, Supply. now, I've still got Spirit Talker active on my bag there, <laughs> but I am going to do some research just to see if I can find out anything about this place. Now that I've been here a few times and have got a few things out of Spirit Talker and the Spirit Box and Ghost Tube, uh, and we had a bit of activity on the REM pod, but nothing too extreme. So let's see what research turns up and then I'll have to come back here might be difficult to get here in the summer because it'll be overgrown but i'll certainly try uh, would look really nice with all the trees filled in not gonna lie but it all depends on whether we can actually make it down here through all the trees anyway that's it for this one please if you like these videos hit the like hit the subscribe hit that notification bell so you know they're going live sunday nights at eight o'clock and as always let's find something <laughs>